Hi everyone, Scott Weaver, Factory Direct Designers Workroom. Well, so today we're going to learn how to do a balance which has a nice um, bell in it. I call these bells. And I've never done a video on this, but we just finished this up for one of our customers. They sent a picture in. And this is what they wanted copied. So it's a very similar. So I said, yeah, we, we can do that. And so here it is. So I want to give you a couple of key points to this before we go ahead and make the pattern. Um, the, the first thing being that you'll notice that these stripes are up a little higher. You're going to get that because you have a bell. And anytime you have a bell, you have to bring the fabric up higher. So if you don't like the look of the stripe going up a little higher, or, or if you're using a pattern that that would not um, be a good idea to do, then um, this may not be the right type of balance for you. Um, the customer, uh, we, she showed me the picture of it, and certainly there's no way uh, else to avoid it. It really doesn't look bad. We kind of like that. Um, another key point is that when you're doing this, center something. You see we got a stripe in here. So we've centered that. We've also centered the striping going across this way horizontally um, just to give it a little bit more depth. And then up on the top here, we have a welting cord that's been cut on the bias, um, which I have a video on also. That means it's cut on a 45 degree. So we get all the colors in the, uh, in the welting instead of just having either a gray color or a pink color or the ivory. Keep those in mind. Now the, the next part of this are the pleats. You see we have pleats on the sides. And while I'm making this pattern and showing to you, I want to explain um, how I got these depths in here. Each one of these pleats, you, would, you wouldn't guess it, but if you took a tape, if you took a ruler and you wanted to measure from here to here, you would say that this takes three inches and three inches would be six inches. That would be a good assumption, except it's not, it's nine inches. Um, you've got three inches starting from here to this point, three inches and three inches. So it's nine inches. And again, another three, three and three makes another nine. So ideally to make these three pleats, takes 27 inches of fabric. I'll be going over that a little bit more. Now this is not a complicated balance to make. Um, and I'm gonna walk you through how to make the pattern of it. And then I'm also gonna put links, if I remember to, links on how to sew. It may not be this particular balance, but I've got plenty of balances that I show how to, um, uh, how to sew them. Because these are basically only pillowcase, meaning it goes edge to edge. This is also put on a board, it's board mounted. I also have, have videos on how to board mount um, balances. And I'm also going to talk about the return. Just for you, some of you people who might be a little green on this. The, the return is the thickness of the board and how far it protrudes away from the wall. In this case, this is put on a three and a half inch board. Let me take it down so you can see it. This is the return. This is the part that returns back to the wall. That's why they call it. And this case it's a four inch board which is technically three and a half inches so the return on here is three and a half inches and that's what the top part of it looks like all finished off um, i do recommend on this balance to contrast line it put some type of a contrast in here and the reason being is because you will see it uh, in here and in here this has a little peek of view boom effect through here so having said that let's begin making our pattern 